What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video. Today we are leaving the Tampa RV show. I know, it's, it's like bittersweet. Like I enjoyed being here and spending time with everybody, but I'm ready to... Ready to know. roll? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get back to adventures. Yeah. I mean, this has been an adventure, but like, yeah. let's get back to the seeing the world. We, uh, we don't know where we're going. I mean, we know what the end destination is, but we don't know exactly like where we're going to be tonight. Right. So we have an 1100 mile trip. 1100 miles we're going to try to do in two days. And then, yeah. So we're just going to like drive until we get tired and, yep. then, and then stop. Because we are driving into Texas. We're currently at Tampa, all the way to Texas, Columbus, Texas, where we're going to hit a campground for a night. And then it's off to Magnolia Beach, boondocking on the beach. I feel like you're in a rush. I don't know why on travel day it just feels like you're in a rush but it's important to just kind of slow down and just make sure you're not missing anything. Doing kind of a little bit of a walk around before we get going. It's cold. Man, this is supposed to be Florida. It is cold. I can see my breath. This isn't cool. But uh, I think it's gonna be even cooler where we're going. But yeah, I think we're ready to roll. Did you get the slides in? Ready to roll? Ready to roll. Last thing to do is unplug and well hitch up and, and unplug. That's a cool little catchy hitch up and unplug. I like that. Have you ever stopped at a Flying J or somewhere like a gas station to uh, to dump? This is our first time. This is our first time doing this. We've been in line for over an hour now. I feel like there should be like some signs that have like etiquette. So let, let, let's recap because waiting an hour and a half in line if the line's extremely long is one thing. There's only been three campers in front of us. Yes, three campers. Like, I feel like you should be able to dump your like your tanks and like 15 20 minutes like, like we have we have huge tanks and we can still do it and 15 minutes most and we're just complaining today because because it's travel day and he's cranky i'm not cranky no okay i'm gonna buy him the shirt if, if y'all don't know he designed a shirt that says i'm not cranky it's travel day he needs to wear that every travel day i was fine until i sat in line for an hour and a half to dump my tanks anyways uh we're next so yeah I just went ahead and got myself out. Another thing, I'm on deck, so might as well get my toes out. Yeah, so if y'all ever have to do this, just be ready. Like, yeah. Just try to be as considerate as possible. Fast. And, you know, as fast as possible. Not to mention, what I feel bad about is that this line goes in front of the truckers that are backed in without their... Without the trailers. Without the trailers hooked up. It's just the so truck. it's just the truck. And these they can't guys, get out. These guys have to come get in their truck and then leave to go pick up their load. And they're waiting in line to get out because we're blocking them in. And so I got him to pull up as far as we could so that this trucker could come out. And the guy behind us came right up on our butt. So now that trucker has to set until we move again. Oh, well. I feel so bad because I like, <sighs> can't make that guy back up. Yay, RV life. All right, well, this guy's wrapping up now, so. Now you gotta do your job as quickly as possible. Yep, now that I've complained, I better go fast. So we're, we're at a Loves right now, and uh, our tire pressure system 
<clears throat> keeps going off telling us but I, I think it's because there's a low battery it's reading about 119 psi which is normal for these tires uh, but i figured i would just go ahead and check it anyways yeah and it's it's reading over 100 so i mean the tire is not losing pressure the sensor i think the battery is just going nuts so every time we turn it off that's what you do right you kick them Every time we turn this, the truck off and back on, stupid sensor goes nuts. So just double checking, might as well come over here and check this too. It's late. Uh, we still have almost 700 miles to go. Cindy's gonna take over. I've been driving all day. So Cindy's gonna take over now and start driving and that's gonna give me a break for a while. I think we're just gonna drive until we're tired, find a rest area, hang out for the night, and then make our way over to Colorado River, which is in Columbus, Texas. When we started this journey, it was 1,100 miles. So we're trying to get under where we have less than 500 miles left for tomorrow. But tires are good, it's good. just got to a uh, rest area. We're in Mississippi. In Mississippi, yeah. On the Route 10. We're tired. We've been we've been at this all day. Total um, drive is 1,100 miles. We have less than 500 miles to go. Um, less than 600 miles. Yeah. But I think we made a decent way. So when we um, stop at rest areas, we want to make sure we have enough room for the 18 wheelers to go by us. Um, so These we, are wide. These are ones are very wide, wide um, spaces. But we still don't have the slides out. All the way. All the way. So the kiddos, we just opened the slide enough for them to be able to squeeze through the fireplace and the slide um, to get up to their bedroom. And then um, we there's a little button in the propane cabinet on the uh, passenger side. That, that can turn off. That turns off the hydraulic system to one slide or the other. Right. So I turn off the hydraulic to the refrigerator side so we can park as close to that side as we can and then open, um, open this, one up, open a this bit. one up a little bit without being in the ways of the 18 wheeler. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's the only downside of having slides. Yes. And I'm just not a fan of just driving and trying to find somewhere to sleep. Just, I'd rather have hookups well, because it's we, cold. Well, it's so friggin' cold. Well, so we typically do a harvest toast or yeah. something like that, but we didn't know where we were going to end up, like where at on the road we're, we were aiming for today. Yep. So we did because we knew we wanted to get under 600 miles, um, but we didn't know how traffic was going to be or anything like that. So we just decided just to drive. Yep. So we're going to take, we're going to get some sleep and then yep, we stop so we can sleep for a few hours. And hit the road again in the morning. Long night. Time to roll though, time to go. We have 504 miles to go. From Tampa, Florida to Columbus, Texas in two days. 1,100 miles. Oh, why do we do this to ourselves? But guess what? We got friends waiting on us there. And uh, well, I guess I can just say it's time to roll. Let's go. If I can get these kids going. You guys have trouble getting your getting your kids going. For those of you who have teenagers, what's it like to try to leave early? I'm telling you, I could just get up and roll. Like, just roll out of bed, go. It's like an act of Congress to get these kids going. Let, leave a comment below. Let me know how, how you do with it. Go into Colorado River RV Campground on Thousand Trail Lane in Columbus, Texas. Please drive to highlighted route.
Always stop at Love's. We just, they're nice, they're clean. Busy too, but every time we stop, fuel, it's like, I have to go in and tell her 150. So let me know if you, uh, what, what type of rewards programs you guys use for fuel. This should be the last time I have to fill up though, which would be nice. We have about a little under 300 miles, I think, left. So the 55 gallon tank, we can get close to 400 miles. Well, this is just becoming a regular thing. Yeah, you see it. We're at a Bucky's again. We are 100 miles out. 100 miles left of our 1100 mile journey in two days. I'm I'm done. I'm I'm ready for this to be done. Seriously. You know, something dawned on us as we were kind of driving a little bit. Uh, it's been almost a year since we bought the momentum. We're, we'll probably give you like some details, quick details of like everything we've done now, in case you're new to the channel, everything we've done, some things we plan on doing, and then just talk about what it's been like to live in this. Uh, so we're going to uh, go in Bucky's one last final stop, right? And uh, easy. One final stop, and then we're on our way. Look, Wilson's fine. If you guys don't know, this is uh, this is Wilson. <laughs> he, yes, he is a real miniature pineapple. Everybody ask. Yep, he, he is, is real. real. It is not edible. It's just like a novelty thing. We're we're getting ready to go over and talk to our our friends. Yes. Ryan and Whitney, you guys, it is awesome seeing you again. If you get to watch this video, you're gonna be part of it. You don't know that yet. We're going to the beach today. Yay! It's 50 degrees. So, <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, so it is, it's not supposed to rain. I drink some. That's yours, it's unsweet. It's not supposed to rain, um, but it is supposed to be cloudy today and only 50 degrees with 10 mile per hour winds. Oh, that's it? That's it. We've been calling around for water because we didn't want to have to lug a full tank of water 100 and some miles, but Feel like we're gonna have to. Yeah, so we're Thousand Trail members. Yep. And the closest Thousand Trails to the Magnolia Beach is about two hours, about an hour and 45 minutes. Yep. So we've called around, there's a harvest host that's right there by the beach mm -hmm. that it was, actually has a full hookup. It's an RV park. Um, the owners of the RV park decided to turn it into a harvest host. So they have three spots available for harvest hosting um, and the rest of it's just a regular RV park. You, but you have to rent a site in, in order to fill up. use the so water hose to fill up. They only have a water spigot at the sites. So you have to book the site in order to to use it. And then I called the marina, the marina yeah. and they said the same thing. They have RV sites where we can fill up, but no public water hose. They have a dump station that we can dump our tanks, but no potable water. Hmm. So we're filling up here. <laughs> we'll get probably two thirds. We're gonna be gone, what, today's Tuesday. We're coming back to this site on Friday. Um, but if you don't want to carry your water long distance, just book the RV site. It's um, if you're a Harvest Host member, it's of course free with a donation. Um, if you want to stay more than one night at that RV park, it's called uh, Magnolia Beach RV Park. Um, if you want to stay more than one night, it's twenty-five dollars a site for Harvest Host members and thirty-five dollars a site for non-RV non-Harvest Host members. Twenty-five dollars a night for right there on the beach. We are getting ready to roll. Well, we're getting stuff I'm the, done. I'm in the so one thing I don't we don't ever really boondock so this will be our first like multiple day boondocking without any hookup and I didn't want I didn't want food to go bad in the refrigerator yeah so anything that was in there that I thought would be bad before we got back to 
the campsite, I wanted to go ahead and wash the dishes and dump it and take the trash out and stuff. So I have to fill the tank up and dump our other tanks. So while well, I wash, that's what I'm going to be doing. He's going to wait till I'm done washing. Yeah, everybody's going to be waiting on me. Welcome to Magnolia Beach. It's so nice. It's cold and windy, but yes. it's nice. But it's nice. We got our friends over here right beside us. I had to put some wood down though, under the under the blocks, just, just in case. And uh, this is awesome. Yeah, so the beach is made out of crushed uh, oyster shells. Yeah, it's like shells and rocks and stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty solid. It's not as solid as uh, gravel, so. Yeah. Pretty yep. cool. But uh, yeah, we're here, Magnolia Beach, everyone. Welcome. Today is a beautiful day. Beautiful day out here. Uh, the sun came out, blue skies. We have still some, a little breeze. Of course, I think the breeze is always gonna be coming off the water. It's, it's just like, it's just chilly enough for a hoodie, but not cold enough for a jacket. I mean, but you could come out here. Some people could stand short sleeves out here right now. But this is absolutely amazing. I mean, to have the RV literally right on, <clears throat> right on the beach with us is so nice. And well, we had a little bit of a problem. Um, I was thinking about just going ahead and get a second battery so that we had a little bit more capacity and the generator would stop kicking on all the time. Because what we do is we set the generator to auto start once the battery is low. So we were like, hey, let's add one more battery, cut down on you know how many times the generator has to start add a little bit more capacity yeah so came out here see what type of battery it is and there was acid on the battery on the top and it had drained like all the way down the sides in the container uh, and everything like that so we ran to a local walmart <clears throat> and got two new rv deep cycle batteries uh, i think they're 125 amp hour a piece and wire them up today. It's it's just weird. It's, it's kind of cool how things work out because you, you're you wanting to maybe add an extra battery or something like that. And you know what? Something says, you know, go outside, check, and you have acid everywhere. So it's just kind of cool how things work out like that. So otherwise, I don't think we would have caught in it. We, we wouldn't have caught it. That worked out pretty well. Uh, the batteries are like 90 bucks a piece. They're not lithium, not yet, maybe one day. Uh, but now we have two batteries and we have double the capacity so that That worked out pretty good and with as much acid as those things were that other one was losing I don't even know if that was charging all the way. So some information about Magnolia Beach. There is uh, There is a town. It's called Port Lavaca and It is about 15 miles away from here. It's actually a decent like it's it's got a lot of stuff if you're worried about propane gas uh, whatever other supplies you may need. There's Ace Hardware, there's Tractor Supply, there's Walmart, Walgreens, um, a Bucky's, like, so you, you should be good. Uh, that's one thing that we didn't really know coming down here is what type of stuff was around so that we could actually, you know, continue to, uh, to live the way we wanna live. So that's just some information about Magnolia Beach. If you're looking to stay here, you know, you're not just out in the middle of nowhere. You do have some stuff that you can kind of fall back on, which is pretty good. But yeah, that's that's about it for now. Just wanted to, you know, give you guys some more information about the beach. It's beautiful. Uh, I can't wait to see like what this thing looks like when it's warm and the water's all pretty. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. We got lots more to go. We're gonna talk about what it's like to be in the rig for a year. Of course, just had to fix some stuff, but it is such a blessing and a 
so humbling to be able to live this lifestyle and meet so many of you guys. Come and I love you. Come and I love you. All right, so we said we were gonna talk a little bit about living in the momentum for over a year now. Yes, we have been to 48 stops. 48. Some of those places we have went to more than once. Yes. But we still... 48 total we still, stops. We still moved 48 times. Yes. In, in the year that we've had the momentum. And how many miles? 12,000, what I got you see. 12,300 and some change. 12,356 to That's be a exact. lot of miles. <laughs> Now we have drugged just, this thing everywhere. Yeah, that's just that's just the RV trip wizard. That's not including like going off the thing to the gas station and coming back onto the, right. onto your route. So it's a little bit over that. But that that is Ohio to Virginia to Maine to, to Keys to Keys to Alabama to Alabama. Now that back all to way, Florida back to Florida and now all the way out to Texas so far. Yes. That is crazy. <laughs> so we have put some miles on that camper. Yeah, and I will tell you. Our tires are doing great. So we're gonna talk about some things that we like about the RV. Yes. Well, some things that we've done to the RV so far, and then some things that we like, and maybe even some things that we don't like if we have any of those. Yeah. I think there's always something that you wanna change, which yeah. is why you change it. Yeah. So. All right, let's walk down this beach. The Reflection was a great vehicle or a great RV, but the Momentum has such a big, massive, footprint oh it's way different <laughs> so much different um so when we did when we first started out full time and we were in the reflection and we quickly realized that it wasn't big enough for what we needed that's right so we upgraded to the momentum right and uh being able to have a washer and dryer and yeah uh, the, the space in the garage having the space for the kids yes having the side <clears throat> patio as an option as Patios. a second mm -hmm. as a second workspace because like if you're in the garage working i can't go out on the back patio right because it would disturb your your workflow so having that side patio where i can step outside or michaela can step outside it's just a it's just a game changer um all the way around yep no, I'm not saying that everybody has to have a momentum to right. full-time RV, but it's what works for us. And so that's what we chose to have. And we love the, the residential fridge mm -hmm. uh, with the inverter so that it runs all the time. We don't have to run run propane going down the road. Right. It's just, it's, it's totally different. And then I just put two new batteries in there, which has helped out a lot. It's not lithium, not yet. No, they're just lead acid batteries. Um, but it's what we could get right now while yep. we were, while we were boondocking unprepared. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, you said the tire, we have H rated tires. We have H rated tires. We only have the 7,000, um, pound capacity, of uh, axles, but yep. it There's does, three of them. it does great. That's 21,000 pounds and the GVRW of the rig is 20. So yep. we have enough axle. It's done great. The leaf springs have done great. The only thing mechanically wrong we've had so far is the suspension piece that we lost the bolt going through New yes. York. Yep. Um, and then we had the door replaced, yeah, which we have right. a video on that. That's not mechanical. That's right. struck. That's you know body. But um, but you know those two things it, in twelve thousand miles, like yeah. that's amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I Definitely. expect a lot more to go wrong. <laughs> is there anything you don't like about it? I wish I had. I do wish I had some place for our shoes. And that was a complaint with the reflection as well as the momentum. When you walk in that front door, you have a pantry and you have a fireplace. Like there's nowhere for your shoes to go. Right. Um, which is fine when it's a nice day outside and you can leave them outside, but on a rainy day or a nasty day, that's not always feasible, right? So I've seen on the Grand Design pages where people have remodeled the fireplace and, and created a shoe cabby, cat caddy. Yep. So I think we will be doing that in the near future. Another project. Yay. <laughs> no, so yay. this is the thing, like you can buy the biggest, baddest RV, but there's still going to be something that you don't like about it. And you're going to want to do something. And there's still going to be something that the, you want to change about the it. The important part is to, is to do it and make it your own. Right. And the more comfortable you are in your RV, I think the easier it is to live the RV life. RV. I think the only thing I would prefer to have, it's not really that I dislike it, but um, I would definitely prefer to have a battery bank, uh, a nice like lithium system with solar 
and an inverter converter like the multi multi plus, multi plus two um i think that would definitely help out because opportunities like this you know the more we go west the more opportunities like this we get right this and, this and type of stuff you don't do on the east coast and we're not we're not equipped we're just not prepared so we're running our generator a whole lot yeah and so i, w I would love to have a system where i could just go out and forget about the world for a month or two, you know? Right, and so like if you're ordering a new RV, keep that in mind. I mean, you can order it with a solar package and not, right. and they're gonna be coming out with the ones that have the the battery banks um, built into them. That we saw at the show, the mm -hmm. Volta. The Volta system. Um, so things like that, if you're planning on doing a lot of boondocking, that might be stuff that you wanna actually do. We yeah. didn't care about that because we had never boondocked. Right. So it, and, we didn't need it. And we don't, we don't have a a um, solar prep package mm -mm. because the gauge wiring that they use isn't isn't good for an actual big system right so mm -hmm. we didn't get that anyways so yeah. hopefully at some point we're going to be upgrading. we're going to be upgrading yeah so we just because we're boondocking so magnolia beach where we're at you can boondock for 14 days for free um and so we decided that we needed a second battery so that our generator didn't need to cut on quite as often yeah every um, 30 minutes <laughs> So now it cuts on every hour and a half instead. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> which that's is, half the fuel, nice. half the gas that we're using. Right, so it's, it is a lot better. It, um, it ran twice last night. Last night with the furnace on all night. Yep. So because it's cold here, and Maybe. the fridge is running all the time on yep. the battery too. Fridge is constant. The tire pressure monitoring um, relay thingy is constant. Yep. Um, things like that are always drawing on your battery. Water pump. The water pump. Um, the gas water heater. Yeah, there's there's not much I don't like about our RV. I know. Like it's we we went to the Tampa RV it. show and we looked at like <sighs> what seven rigs and yeah. every single one of them I would still choose what we have yep. over, over them. So I mean, yeah, the the million and a half dollar <laughs> Newmar <laughs> that looked bucks. like a casino inside was pretty cool, but <laughs> so, uh, this is us. Yeah, this is us. Yeah. Look at the sunset. It is so pretty out here. It's still so cold and windy though, but the sun is beautiful. Got the nice glow on the camper. Oh, it's just so pretty. I can only imagine if it was like 75 degrees here and just like a slight breeze off the water, this place would be absolutely magical. But right now it's, it's cold, but the whole country is cold. But yeah, we're getting ready to go over to Whitney and Ryan's tonight's soccer night. So we got to roll. Doing pretty girl. It's supposed to be our last day here. <laughs> supposed to be. But then it decided to uh, warm, up. warm up. Actually, we were supposed to leave yesterday. <clears throat> the wind stopped, the rain stopped, the sun came out. There's not even any clouds in the sky. No clouds. <laughs> so, guess what? We're going to stay here an extra night. It's the flexibility of RV life. And so, it's the weekend. So, yes. but we still got to get back to our other campground before uh, Monday. <laughs> we're, we're paying a nightly rate for campground. <clears throat> yeah, we got to work. And then we have to work. But we want to make the most of this, so we went ahead and took the e-bikes out. And we're gonna take a ride down the beach now. Yes. So it's been too cold and windy to do it for the beginning part of this week. So yeah. we didn't even we're like, man, we'll just sleep no. with, we'll sleep with the bed up because yep. there's no point taking them out. And so last night we decided we were gonna stay one more night because the right. weather app said that it was going to clear up. Yep. No. And then we went out this morning and we were like, oh, let's stay one more night. Yes. Yeah, so you can stay up to 14 nights here. Yes. 14 nights for free. And then you have to leave. Yep. Got to go. You ain't got to go home, but you can't stay here. But we are going, um, we got the e-bikes charging, got the generator running, got two e-bikes charging. Two of them are full. Uh, Ryan and Whitney, who are with us, have never ridden e-bikes before. Nope. So we're going to put them on two e-bikes and we're going to head down the beach and we're going to have Mr. Jeroni. Uh, up in the air following us and then when we come back we're gonna get on top of the rigs and do, do a little photo shoot do some corny little photo shoots around the, the roof mm -hmm. <laughs> um but yeah because you, know, you have to make the most of it when you're on such a beautiful beach that's right and we have absolutely loved spending time with you guys ryan and whitney um when you guys get to see this video uh just know that we had a great time hanging out with you guys yes it, it was very good for the soul to to be with some friends yes yep and we can't wait to see you guys again in tennessee i know that's be cool yep all right well let's go get the e-bikes ready to roll let's get the uh the drone up in the air luna's like i'm ready and let's get some cool shots luna's ready Did it work mm -hmm. all right let's go
right, so we rode our e-bikes down a couple miles, I guess. Yeah, I don't even know how many miles we went. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nice so, out here. So Magnolia Beach goes a long way. It sure does. I didn't realize it was all connected. Yeah, but uh, I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's pretty perfect, nice. Perfect picnic area. Uh, somebody, somebody told us like the March April time frame is busy. It well is the because it's the best time. No, oh, yeah. Because of the temperature and the weather. Oh, I'm sure. Springtime. Yeah. So there's plenty of docks um, that you can use, and then if y'all don't want to boondock, there's actually a bunch of RV spaces for rent going yeah. up and down the beach. Yeah, there's way more than I thought. Yeah, it's like air. I guess they're like Airbnbs, but they're for RV sites. Yeah. Um, so those are pretty cool, and there's one being built right right across from us. That's all concrete slab. Yep, and we got all four bikes out because they're trying to they're trying to stay out of my shot. We're with the Churchleys. We're with the Churchleys over here, which we just did an interview. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's going to be uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, this is our first boondocking, like trip. Right, other than our nightly stays. Right. At like a Cracker Barrel and or we've whatever, done good. Or Harvest Toast. We've done pretty good. The yeah. battery, extra batteries helped yeah. conserve some gas in the generator. And we didn't even fill up the tank and we we're still good on water. Yeah. Yeah, so. we're doing pretty good. Yeah. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Okay. Before I run out of battery on my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like it? Did you like the beach? Oh, I love the beach. Yes. Um, water is, as y'all know, is like our favorite place. Would, would you recommend this place? Definitely. Um, I wish that it was just a little bit warmer so I could actually paddleboard because look at that. Yeah, like today would be perfect. perfect. It's a perfect paddleboard day uh, and we're leaving. One of the locals did go by and said that there's there's definitely alligators or crocodiles so, that swim and you you can see them swimming down the shoreline sometimes. So this is actually the bay that right. comes off of the Gulf of Mexico. And there's like an inlet. It's a little inlet like what we did in Nogunquit up in Maine yep. where the, water, no alligators the in Maine. water flows into that side so it's like a river on that side right um and then the alligators will come underneath the bridge and come back out to this yep. bay uh so you can actually see alligators on this side and that side now there is a bridge up here that some people worry about but the says, sign is ten thousand pounds per axle per axle so it says 10 you know weight limit ten thousand pounds and so people freak out but it's yeah. ten thousand pounds per axle per axle um, and so we so are nowhere near yeah, that we're fine um, Even with our big rig, you're, but you're fine. if you're worried about it, if you come just a little bit farther down, there's two more entrances to the beach, um, but that side of the beach isn't as deep. Um, I would definitely recommend this. Is kind of like a, I would say almost like a hidden gem. I, I don't think a lot of people know about this beach, and being able to park out here. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's of, becoming more popular. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people know about it because but, of people, we, you know, us YouTubers. But we came when it was freezing. Yes. Like, freezing. Um, There's so, a good chance that if this place is big, like you're not going to find a space right. on the beach. So, tip, um, there is two campgrounds, like maybe a mile and a half away. Yeah. One of the two is actually a harvest host. Um, so if you are a harvest host member, you can book your site there the night before. Yeah. And then come here and scope it out. To yeah. make sure that there's a spot. Or if you have to wait for a spot. Right. Or you that have, morning. You, know, you can get um, a few days. So yeah. And then they charge, if you want to stay a longer, it's $25 a day. Um, for full hookups for Harvest Host members at that campground. Um, that's a good tip. Yeah, so I think it's like $35 a day if you're not a Harvest Host member, so yeah. that's still not terrible. Yeah. Um, and it's it's not terribly big though, like we would have a hard time getting into a lot of the spots, yeah. but but it's still an option. Yes, yeah, so. it's, it's definitely an option. And then there's a really nice RV park, and I'll, I'll get the name, I can't, the name slips my mind right now. I'll get the name and put it down on the screen. Yeah. Uh, that's actually a pretty decent one. And, it and was it's pretty big. Yeah. yeah. 
So if you're looking for a place to stay close, you know, you could always go yeah, to Yeah, because this is actually free access all the time. It's probably 15 so, minutes away. And they have picnic tables and grill, the grilling yeah. areas. So you can come down here just for a beach day. Like, because this, I mean, look at this. Yeah. It's super beautiful. And about 20 minutes away, you have Port Lavaca, which yes. is a decent town. You can get propane. You can fill up. There's a Bucky's. Very tiny, tiny little you, Bucky's. The smallest Bucky's I've ever seen. Um, you can get you can get fuel, you can get groceries, you can get there's anything. Walgreens, any pretty much anything. Laundry mat, everything's uh, good Mexican within restaurant. about twenty minutes away. There's a good Mexican restaurant over there we went to. Yeah. Um laundry mat is pretty good. I hope you've uh got some tips about Magnolia Beach. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Also our one year mark in the Grand Design Momentum. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine T H R. Now we have to do all of our yearly maintenances on it. Yep, all <laughs> that's coming up. <laughs> Generator right got a good use out of it. Yep. Uh, we absolutely love our home, and uh, we have some more renovations in, in store. Oh, yes. We got some surprises for you always. guys coming There's up. There's always something that I like. There's to a couple change. things in the works. But Ooh. you know, we were like that with our house too. We always wanted yep. to change things. Pray for us, guys. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot <laughs> going on, and there's a lot of. I think there's going to be a lot of big decisions that we have to make coming up uh, in the not so distant future. Yeah. So. Just uh, keep us in your prayers, keep us in your thoughts as we travel around this country and show you what we yeah. what we find and, and what we learn. And if there's anything y'all need us to pray for for you guys, let us know. Um, yep. yes, you, if you don't want everybody in, in the world to know it on YouTube, you feel free to email us privately. Um, we'll be happy to pray Facebook, for you. Facebook, Instagram, message, whatever you want to do. Yeah, we'll, we'll pray for you guys. All right, so from Magnolia Beach, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. And ring the bell so you can notify when we release our next video. Until the next strange adventure. Keep making your own. Oh, you beat me to it. I found a star, I found a star in you. Always guiding me to where my words are true. I've waited a million years before. And I do